Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for week 15 over on our Mission Inspiration Art Challenges and this week the prompt is seeing. So let me turn over to my overhead camera and I'll show you the prompt and talk you through what I'll do for this week. So the prompt for week 15 is seeing. So it's peer beyond the surface, embrace the depths of perception. Like a lens adjusting to light, unveil hidden truths and wisdom. Navigate with clarity, for in the art of seeing, discover the beauty in every detail. And embrace the journey of insight, where vision illuminates the path to understanding and growth. There we go. So. Obviously, the graphic lends itself to a kind of big, big brother, George Orwell, 1984 kind of feel. So that's kind of what's inspired my art journal page for today. So I'm going to be um, creating a page, obviously using the eye as a motif. And I wanted something a bit kind of retro, a bit austere. Um, <clears throat> But I wanted to do a collage today. Oh, excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickly throat today. Um, yeah, I wanted to do an all collage page today. So I've got all of my bits and pieces in front of me. So let me have a quick tidy up and then I'll be right back. OK, so I've got everything I think I'm going to need. I've got my distress ink. I've got my papers that I've printed ready for the collage. I've already cut some bits out. This is a print from a new collection, a new digi collection, or possibly I may have them printed. I'm looking into it at the moment of having my collections printed. But at the moment, this is just a digi collection from a new set called Dots and Circles, kind of abstracty, grungy, um, very, very textural background papers for absolutely everything this year, me. So this is one, just one of a collection out of 24. So I've printed it and just cut it down um, at the moment. So I've got the right kind of height. Uh, I just need to work out where it goes um, sideways. About there. So let's pop that to one side, bring the trimmer in. All right, so it's about that. So around about 140-ish. But obviously, if you're doing something similar, you'll probably want to cut it to your size of your page. So usually I work on a white sheet and then put everything on top of that. I'm working on this. I want this complete background today. Now, hopefully that's the same. Oh, look at that. Exactly the same. Right. So my original plan was to use dry glue. Um, Elmer's Extreme Dry Glue. I did try and use the Dilutions glue sticks, but they didn't seem to be holding. I've had mine for quite some time, so perhaps that's what it is. So we're going to use Elmer's instead. I'm just going to go around the outside. We're just using some scratch paper. Just so I'm not getting glue everywhere. And then I can go just into the middle once we've gone around the edges. OK, so. Yeah, so while I was thinking about doing this, this kind of um, 1984 George Orwell kind of Big Brother is watching your page, I realised that it's been some years, quite a few years since I read the book, um, and I kind of fancy reading it again. So I've actually ordered it from Amazon, and hopefully it'll be here in the next day or so. Um, I remember reading it, um, when I was a lot younger, um, along with Aldous Huxley's Brave New World and, you know, those kind of books, as you do. <coughs> but I can't remember. I, I remember reading 1984 and I remember, obviously, um, the film that came out with John Hurt and I can't remember who the lady was in the film. Um, 
ran in, in obviously in the late 80s or middle 80s i think it might have even been released in 1984 um, and then of course the eurythmics did a soundtrack for it that never actually made it up into the into the movie for whatever reason artistic differences they claimed at the time but who knows only they do i suppose um but yeah to remember watching the film and i think i read the book after the film back in 1984 but i haven't I haven't touched it since so and i obviously don't have a copy so i've ordered myself a copy from amazon and just because um, I've ordered a hardbacked version because I like hardback books and they look better on your bookshelf. So, hello Ian. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. So, we're going to, I've got these this building. That it's very came, 70s, isn't it? Yeah, very, very. Um, it came in a collection of collage, digi-collage, ages ago from, um, I think it was Studio 2AM or something like that back in the day. Um, I've had these for a couple of years. Um, this, to me, looks like a, a very government kind of social security building. There's um, the social security building in Sheffield, next city along, has a building like this in the city centre, and it's awful. It's horrible. It really is. It's very um, authoritarian. So what I thought, though, it would look really, really good as an abstract background piece if I cut to flip them over orwellian very orwellian yes since we're talking about 1984 um and i think that would look really really good it's got that kind of abstract -y kind of feel to it which i like which is what i want i like the angles the v kind of angles the v for victory haha <laughs> kind of feel So we'll just whack some glue on there and then I'll just line up. I'm hoping to get this level. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably won't because I'm a bit cack handed when it comes to cutting out these days. My glue scratch paper. Um, for the distress ink, I've just used tea dye. Um, I keep saying I'll replace my vintage photo because it disappeared a long time ago and was never and was never replaced. Oops. So <laughs> did you hear that guilty oops in the oops. background there? So let's. Oh, I've just realised I've done something wrong. That I wanted to. Where I wanted to plan it now. I wonder if I can still lift that bit up there. I can. Right before we do that, I've got. Um, the word sight from a dictionary and the word see from a dictionary. So these are from my dictionary. See and sight there. So what I did was I just took photographs of the pages um, and then just printed them larger onto cardstock. So all I have to do is just to come in with my punch like so that's a bit rough and do the word see because the word seeing isn't in the dictionary but see is so let's do that as a circle and then what i wanted to do see, i did actually want to put some distress around it but there we go before we glue it down should have done it first, shouldn't I? <laughs> Is took that under there. Like so, because we've got circles in the background. So they really do kind of blend themselves really, really well to add a few more on. A few more on, not morons. <laughs> I know. I'm having one of them days today. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm having difficulty with my worms. Uh, have you got the dog's teeth in? <laughs> Something like that. So let's tuck that one underneath there, where those circles are. 
So you can just add two. Look at that. All right, so that can now get stuck to down. I think this is going to be one of those collage pages where I don't actually have to have any particular kind of quote or phrase because you've got the words on that dictionary page that I'll just turn that so it's a bit straighter. There we go. Um, that do the job for you. So obviously the next one, we're doing Big Brother-ish, so we need some Big Brother kind of imagery. Da -da. Not the same person different people so let's just grab some distress ink just to get rid of those raw white edges I just think when you're doing a collage sometimes it's nice not to see the edges and it just kind of consolidates everything together I'm not doing a particularly long video either today because obviously collage is collage doesn't take long to do particularly if you've given it some thought beforehand and prepared beforehand it's only when you, you don't you need floundering and looking for um bits to stick into your collage that usually takes ages but like i said if you've given it some thought and done all your hunting beforehand usually you're fine so what we're going to do is we're going to stick this, look at that, we're going to stick this. That should theoretically have been in the middle. Why is that not in the middle? Except I made a boo-boo with my calculations today. No, that's about right. That should have been level with that. Dear me. What was I saying about preparing earlier? <laughs> I don't know. But there you go, what's and all with me, you get everything. The good with the bad. I'm not one of these art journal YouTubers that don't show the mistakes. I'm more than happy to share my mistakes with you all. Actually, let's line that up. Now let's line that up with the join in the building. And what I'll do is I'll just trim a little bit off that one so that the scissors oh, so that we're we're equal so just a tiny bit off the bottom there i think really stress least said soonest mended look it's still there too blooming big Let's do it properly. Let's measure the thing. Yeah, there we go. Like it. Me likey. Plenty of glue from the outside. So the inside to the outer edge. And then just button it up. And I love the colour palette on this. Absolutely love the colour palette. And I think, I think I'm actually going to call that done. Know when to quit. Eh? Just get rid of these because I know I'm going to end up putting my elbow or something in it. There we go. These pads, I've got loads of them. Um, they're just literally used for scrap and writing and making notes on and quick disposal, if you like. They're too thin for anything else. So what do we think? Does it need anything else? I don't think it needs a border. I like that kind of angular squareness with the boxes, but I also like the fact that the circle is in the background as well. So there's a nice kind of um, mirror and 
background um, kind of it, it's symmetrical but not symmetrical asymmetrical symmetric you know what I mean so um shall I sign it yes let's sign it I'll take ownership so what date is it today Ian it's the 13th today oh good job it's a Saturday isn't it yes so there we go. So that's my collage page for this week's prompt of seeing. Week 15 for the Mission Inspiration. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this collage art journal page today. If you have, please take a moment to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. Don't forget you can share the video with the friends, with your friends. Um, but also if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all for me for today. Don't forget as well, if you'd like to join us over in our uh, Art Challenge Facebook group, that's the URL on the screen there, the Mission Inspiration Facebook group. All you have to do is click the link below the video and just ask to join. And there's plenty more prompts and lots more inspiration to come. So that's all for me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you